In New Mexico, 16-year-olds have adult responsibilities. Take my class, for example. Some have children of their own, some are the main earners of their families, and all of us are making some of the most important decisions of our lives. Issues like public education and affordability of higher education disproportionately affects those under 18. Yet we have no say on how these political decisions are made. FairVote is an organization that says, and I quote, If young citizens are old enough to drive, work without restrictions on their hours, and pay taxes, they should also have a voice in their local government. We asked Las Cruces High School students if 16-year-olds should be allowed to vote. I think at the age of 16 and 17, we're starting to develop that right mindset. Not all of us, but most of us. You know? I'm ha I have a voice and I can actually do a, have a change in our economy and our future. None of the students we interviewed at Las Cruces High School said they were against lowering the voting age. But many of the adults we interviewed weren't fully convinced 16-year-olds had the mentality to vote. <laughs> they don't, but neither do 20-year-olds. <laughs> Probably most of the time, neither do 30-year-olds. I don't think that that's, that's a good age to put a responsibility on a teenager when they should be in school concentrating on that. Doniana County Chief Deputy Clerk Scott Craling oversees elections in the county. We asked him about the political impact of lowering the voting age. He says that there are many examples of young people making themselves heard in the political process, like when the county was considering closing down the skate park in Chapalad. The county may have gone ahead and closed it down, but um, during the summer, uh, a good group of kids that used it showed up at a, at a, at a county uh, meeting and talked about it, um, talked about the, um, the importance of it in their life and how it kept them from you know, becoming um, from making bad decisions in other parts of their lives. But it's about more than simply giving young people a voice. Voter turnout hit historical lows in the 2014 elections. Lowering the voting age could improve voter turnout. And according to research from FairVote, it could get people in the habit of voting at a younger age. Kraling says voter education and registering eligible voters in the schools could have the same impact without the complexities of changing the law. We could get into, I think, every high school and talk to every graduating senior about how to register to vote, where they can do it, maybe even give, it, give them the option right then and there. I think that would do more to increasing turnout than lowering the age. Tacoma Park, Maryland began allowing 16-year-olds to vote. Beginning with the 2014 local elections, adults could probably take a lesson from them. 16-year-olds voted at twice the rate as adults Las Cruces High School student Charlie Herrera says it's an unfair double standard, but one that is unlikely to change before she's 18. I think that we should be able to vote. We should be given that option or just to at least start learning about it by that age since we're getting to the mindset where we're going to have to start making our own decisions. We should be able to vote for who's making our laws and rules and things. For KRWG and Bulldog Broadcast, I am Stephanie Gutierrez. I think that we should be able to vote. We should be given that option or just to at least start learning about it by that age since we're getting to the mindset where we're going to have to start making our own decisions. We should be able to vote for who's making our laws and rules and things.